So doing viable counts, this is of living bacteria in a sample. So you take one centimeter cubed of your sample mm -hmm. and you add it into nine centimeter cubed of distilled water. You've now diluted it 10 times. Yeah. You then take out one centimeter cubed and you put it onto here. Mm -hmm. Now, this is to demonstrate the principle. If you got one colony on there yeah. from that one centimeter cubed that's been placed onto here, mm -hmm. then how many were in the original one centimeter cube that you put in? Okay, so this one bacteria here has come from the one bacteria which was in the one centimeter cubed that you've put onto the agar and spread it out. Because uh, that single bacteria has divided by binary fission to give you a visible blob, a visible colony. That means there must have been 10 bacteria in the original one centimeter cube that we've diluted nine times. And then there's one centimeter cubed into that. So what we've done is we've taken the number of colonies and we've multiplied by the dilution factor, which was 10 times to give us there would be 10 bacteria per centimeter cubed of the original inoculum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was our theoretical example looking at one centimeter cubed. Now, a more real world example, if we put one centimeter cubed of the inoculum into here, mm -hmm. then we're going to dilute it 10 times. Yep. If we spread that onto this plate, we'll actually get confluent growth. Mm -hmm. This whole plate will be covered in bacteria because the, we haven't diluted it sufficiently. Mm -hmm. We've got a huge number of bacteria. If we've only diluted it 10 times and we take one centimeter cubed out, we put it onto this agar. <coughs> so what we then need to do is we need to take another nine centimeter cubed and another agar plate. Yep. And we need to take out one centimeter cubed from here and transfer into here. So now we've diluted it 10 times 10, which gives us 100 times. We're not gonna plate this one. What we're going to do is we're going to take out one centimeter cube from there, and we're going to plate it, put it into here. So we've now diluted it 10 times 10 times 10, which gives us 1,000 times. Right. Then, if we now plate this out, we might get an awful lot of colonies. Now remember, each one of those colonies is going to come from a single bacteria that's divided by binary fission. Mm -hmm. If we then take the one centimeter cubed out of here, and we put it now into another nine centimeter cubed, Then we've diluted this a subsequent 10 times. Now this plate should have 10 times less colonies on it. So if this plate here had some 250 colonies on it, then this plate here should have 25 colonies on it because it's been diluted a further 10 times. Yeah. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for a plate that has between 200 and 20 colonies. Anything lower than 20, then if we have an extra one, then it's adding or subtracting from the total number by an awful big margin. Anything more than 200, then you're making it too difficult to count and you're likely to have confluent growth. So you look for the number that's between 20 and 200, and then you multiply by the dilution factor. So if you had, say, 30 colonies, on the plate, the last <coughs> plate that we've done, which is a 10,000 fold dilution, mm -hmm. then we multiply 30 by 10,000, which gives us 
300,000 per centimeter cubed of the original dilution. Okay. 